A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. City of Dreamers. A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. There he is! Stay down! That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends. But their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LNTD! You can go screw yourself. Why you? Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! Bowers! Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell. 
Jesus, Dunn. Watch your fire. You don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. You've got to be kidding. You fucking asked for it. No way I'm going back inside. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Ah! Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? <laughs>